It is Thursday morning. We're in Gaston, Alabama, and we're gonna act like the Alabama Crimson Tide, and we are gonna roll. I can't decide whether I'm going to Silver Creek or Gulfport. It's still up in the air. Y'all buckle up. I'm home in Silver Creek. I'm walking back up to the house. I already took Roxy up there. Oh, it is hot out too. But we're going to do a whole lot of nothing. We are shut down till I don't know when. Y'all, she is a mess. Stop. Move, Move silly. <laughs> Hello from Silver Creek. We're at the mansion on Main. But she, uh, <laughs> she's ready to get in that water. I brought my mats up here to wash them off. I guess I'm gonna let her play in here. She is just, she's a full blown mess today. I can't take a step without her, can I, huh? Can I? What, you you, you want that water, huh? I can't. <laughs> she said, bring it on, bring it on. There's my foundation. Well, they got it set up to pour my concrete next week. And hopefully we can get us a building up soon. Woo, get your booty. I'll spray that booty. I will. I got that butt. Oh, stinky butt. <laughs> she said, watch it now. <laughs> oh, did you get too much? Yeah back to my truck poor miss roxy i was gonna bring her but she started tugging on me so i put her back in the house i'm gonna be gone all day she's gonna lose her shit but i'm gonna bring biscuit back so she can play with him have her a little playmate but I'm going to go to Gulfport now. Clean the truck out good. Then go buy some shoes and just basic stuff like that. I'm at my favorite casino, the Beau Rivage. I just got coffee, y'all. That is a large. It smells so good in here. I'm gonna go try and win this million dollars. I'm gonna go over here and try and find the dumpling machine. Cause I need some dough. That's what I need, some dough. Well, they've got a lot of new machines in here. It looks like they've changed a bunch around. They're not suckering me in. I gotta go swipe my card so I can get my bonus points. But I think I'm gonna play my free play and give them a hundred. Oh, I smell pizza. Oh, it smells good. I like that machine right there. It's just too busy back here though. here at the kiddo's house. I'm getting a little biscuit eater to take home to Roxy to play with for a couple of days. She is going to lose her crap 
or probably already has since I've uh, left her home all day. Oh, this must be the toy I got him for his birthday. Oh, well, he'll have uh, my little grandson will like that. I feel like I've got fever, so I'm not going in. I don't want to get anybody sick on their birthday weekend. What's he doing? Do you need his food? Huh, no, I bought some. Okay. He's coming with us. See the front door, that screen door over there? No, what happened to oh, it? We did it yesterday and threw, I guess a rock hit it and busted the window out. Oh, you suck. <laughs> wow. Is it dry? No, not completely. Where's your truck? In the backyard. Oh, I didn't know you were here. I thought you, oh, I thought you were at work right now. I was just handy to send a pot. Hey, basket. Hey, basket. Bye, buddy. I'll see you in a few days. Hey, bye. You want to go play with Roxy? Huh? You're going to be playing with Roxy for a week. <laughs> Looks like he got shot in the butt with some buck shot. When are you coming back from Vegas? You know the day? So we got to get you from the airport the or anything? The 5th. We are here. Oh. Is that Roxy? Roxy! Are you hewing in her? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> She's like, you left me home. Oh, dang! <laughs> I'll say, she, are you there? <laughs> you excited? Huh? Yeah! Oh! I got up freezing, but I rolled over and got comfortable and warm. That darn oh, alarm went off. I was able to stand up pretty fast this morning. That's been a challenge. So I guess we got this coffee going. We're going to see if we can't go to Vegas. It's that time of morning. Whatever time that is. There's no out back there where he's going. Might get to see his show. It's not a full house. I think he just pulled out. But he's not getting out right there. Of course, I guess he could try. And I will film him, but we are headed to the airport. Yeah. And he's got out of the truck stop and he screwed up. It says right there, wind fifth foot truck care entrance. I need a garbage can. It is quarter to four so I'll be there about four I think the plane leaves at 536 and Gulfport's a small airport no need to be in a hurry there well I'm at the airport it took like a whole eight minutes to uh, to get over here Ooh, used to slamming my truck door. I don't know if my kids will come get this or not. It don't matter. They're out at the lake. I'm not going to make them come in. I could have Ubered over here, but this time of morning, you may or may not have one on duty. Y'all look at this guy parked in the handicapped. His parking is definitely, he's handicapped at it. I can't park like that. I gotta reverse it and straighten it up. Oh. Get out of here. 
here we go. Y'all see our little airport? You will get a few people in here. But usually when they close the counter for a flight down here, that person has to run upstairs and help with the board. And so as long as you're in line down here, you know you're getting on the plane. <laughs> no, it's on now. Okay, come on, show the world something. So <laughs> I get a lot of views, so yeah. So around the world, people watching, you never know. They could find you from this, so okay. That's right. I was showing them no line here, but okay, let me put this up and get busy. I'm getting old and forgetful. <laughs> Over here, a brewing company. They're probably brewing beer not coffee i'm at gate three so i'm back this way but i don't want any of that but y'all i always heard we could use our twit card as to get through tsa easier and so when i booked my flight online you put your twit number in is a known traveler number so i did that and uh he gave me a card and i didn't have to take my shoes off and i got to bypass everything so y'all i didn't have to show my twit card just my license so y'all uh y'all put that twit number in landed in Dallas Fort Worth y'all it was a terrible flight terrible they uh I was gonna wait and get on the plane almost last because you got all the people who just try and they need two suitcases but they try and put everything in one and uh because they're too cheap to pay and they clog the line up but so but whilst i waited last i ended up not being last a couple came up with their daughter she was probably 12 13 14 could be 15. Just a nice, sweet young girl in her pajamas. And she had her little blanket wrapped around her. Uh, she was trying to hide. I don't know, you call them. I guess she had tubes in her, but I could see the hoses that were coming out of her. But they were waiting to put her on the plate last. I guess probably flying her over here to the children's hospital. They got a good one. Life ain't. Doors are Crazy. closing. Please okay. do not lock the doors. I'll call you back. Please hold on. This train is departing.
ladies and gentlemen, this is your family train controller. 17-year-old Hispanic female, Sandra Hernandez, wearing a black shirt and black tights. Please give your mom a call. Your mom is looking for you. If you're on a train, please use the emergency phone inside of the train or outside of the station. Again, 15-year-old Latin female, Sandra Hernandez, wearing a black shirt, black tights. Please use the emergency phone inside of the train or outside of the station. Thank you. as I got to where I was going on that train they changed my gate I had to ride all the way around that thing again but they, uh, they pushed our flight out too I didn't look at the exact time but it's been the depart time has been changed it makes no difference I think I'm going to go see if I can find something to eat that's low carb because I got plenty of time it's just now 7.47. We got here 30 minutes early, it said. Oh, I bet TGI Fridays has got some wings. Those are always good for breakfast. Hello from Dallas, Fort Worth, y'all. I'm waiting, but y'all look at this crowd right here. They, uh, there's people here. They ain't even... They're wearing pajamas. You sleep in freaking pajamas. You don't go out in public. Y'all, this is getting a bit ridiculous. I finally just sat down and now I've got a gate change again. Lord have mercy. Now I gotta go back to C. That's where I was originally trying to get and then they changed me to B. So now I gotta go back to C. Y'all, this is getting a bit ridiculous. I finally just sat down and now I've got a gate change again. Lord have mercy. Now I gotta go back to C. That's where I was originally trying to get and then they changed me to B. So now I gotta go back to C. Y'all, look at this cop right here on the left. That's because he said, come fuck around in Texas. <laughs> that fella right there, he's advertising. Try that in a small town. So, oh, hey, uh, he's ready for you. We got 15 more minutes till my flight boards. I think we're still about 15 or 20 minutes out. down. Please remain seated with your seatbelt until the seatbelt sign is turned off. Y'all see the spear over there? Y'all, so this is my rental car. It's got a little ding right there and some scratches. They usually say anything a quarter or bigger, but it's got some nicks and dings. I'll take a bunch of pictures of it too with my phone in case one thing craps out. I got another. 
but I don't even look to see what kind it is. It don't really matter to me, but all right. We're gonna go to the hotel and take a nap. My house is wore out. Well, I have made it inside. Oh, Lord have mercy. It has been a long walk. Y'all, I was going to get out of my car, had the door open, and this woman, she almost rips my door off. She, uh, she almost killed me. I don't think I'd do very well with one arm in flatbed. These people, they, uh, they ain't paying it. Well, the casino looks kind of dead. I'm on floor 17, room 207, but I don't know what tower that is. I need to walk and get my steps in. I'm tired though, I need to nap bad. I got my first bonus in Vegas. I put a hundred in, I bet 375. I'm not really feeling lucky, but my comedy show, Brad Garrett's doesn't start till eight o'clock. It's 610, I'm just killing time. Hell yeah, come on monkey some monkey balls. Oh, that was the end of it. Well. That seemed too easy. We're probably going to take the money and run on this. $118.75.